DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Okay, so we're getting ready to set the braking configuration for the trailer. We just have our mount set up right here, just to try to get it out of the way of my knees, and it's probably the rest of the controls anyway, so it's going to be easy to reach. We're just in a parking lot right now, and so what it's recommending we do is just get up to about 25 miles per hour, and then we're going to hit the manual override right here so if you're actually looking at it there is a little lever on the bottom as it, and as you apply it it actually shows that it's applying the brake force so um, what you're supposed to do beforehand is we're going to apply our set power and they want you to start off at six and so what we're going to do is we're going to get up to 25 miles per hour on a level surface as you can see here and we're going to hit that manual override and what we're listening for is we're trying to see if it, if the trailer brakes are locking up if the trailer brakes lock up then we're going to adjust our power down under six and if uh, it's really spongy and it's still taking a while for it to break then we're going to adjust that power up past that six mark so here's our first run we're going to get up to about 25 and we'll hit that lever okay and that was not powerful enough uh, definitely need some more so we're going to go up to 6.2 just bring it up a little bit and see where that takes us. We'll flip around here. Alright, and then do the same thing again. Get up to about 20, 25 miles an hour. And that's still not enough. So we just increased that increment by two. I'm going to go up to 6.5 at this point. If this one doesn't work, then I'll probably run it up to seven. And I'm actually just going to move it to 11.8 because it felt like there at the end it uh, did lock up. I'm not sure if you heard it on this audio. I imagine we should get our results here on this one. So I'm not sure if you actually heard it on the video there, but we did get our brake lock. So we're going to take that back down to just under 11.5, because 11.5 did give us that brake lock. So I'm going to put it about 11.3, and that's where we're going to be sitting at with our brakes. So as you can see a little bit closer here, if you're looking at the screen, then I just use that manual brake, and it's going to set that all the way up to our level, so 11.3 with the manual brake. Um, before we had set it this high just here at a regular stop with my foot on the brake because it's right now showing the volts that's being used to apply the brakes on the trailer right now so as my foot on the brake at a stop before we had this adjusted up to the 11.3 mark this uh, current voltage was only sitting about 1 1.2 or so so uh, just the regular um, whenever you apply the brakes see so if I let off the brakes and it's completely gone and then gradually apply pressure pressure then it'll adjust it as needed so another thing that it does feature on some of their videos and whatnot is that uh, this brake control module does adjust it to how you're braking so if you're going down the road and you're in an emergency situation you really jam on those brakes I'm not sure if we're going to be able to demonstrate that fully here at a stop but so 3.0 right here if I just creep forward a little bit and hit the brakes softly it goes up to 6.3 was the top that I could see it go to. So if you're going up just a little bit faster and then try and jam on the brakes, I saw that got all, it, it got all the way up to 11.1. .1. So it does adjust the braking on the module according to how fast you brake. 
um, and it'll give you a little bit more voltage, more power to your electronic brakes on your trailer there. So if you have any questions, just let us know. Please be sure to like, share, and comment, and that'll help us out. Thanks. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.